The history of metformin goes back hundreds of years, back to this plant right here, Galega officinalis, otherwise known as go through or what I like to call professor weed, which was a traditional medicine used all over medieval Europe. Decades later, after working out some of its kinks, it was approved as a treatment for diabetes in Europe in the 1950s. And it wasn't until 95 that it was approved for use in the US. And we know that it's the go-to medicine for early diabetes, having tremendous benefits on insulin sensitivity, but we also know that it has many other health benefits for people who don't have diabetes at all, like PCOS, weight gain from antipsychotics, infertility, and much more. In this video, we will look at five unusual side effects of metformin that you probably haven't even heard of. And no, it's not gas. If you guys are new here, my channel is all about helping you make informed decisions about your health and wellness, and I'd love for you all to gently tap on the like button down below. And if you really like the content, then consider subscribing as well. Also, if you guys are on Instagram, you can follow me there too. Now, without wasting any more time, let's dive right in. The first one is hair growth. For a while, people blamed their hair loss to metformin. The short answer is that metformin doesn't cause hair loss. It's the conditions metformin is used to treat that are well known to be associated with hair loss, not the metformin. So for example, PCOS, which can lead to female androgenetic alopecia causing hair loss, and type two diabetes, which we know affects estrogen levels, especially in women, to be associated with weakening and thinning of the hair strands causing hair loss. So it wasn't the metformin. But are you somehow implying that it can actually cause hair growth? Here's what we know. The possible ability for metformin to improve cutaneous wound healing. This includes potentially regenerating the hair follicle. Although the study was on a mouse model, what I did find interesting was the discovery that chronic topical administration of metformin and resveratrol, but not rapamycin, accelerated wound healing with improved epidermis, hair follicles, and collagen deposition in young rodents. But wait a minute, topical metformin? Is that even a thing? Digging through some articles, I did find one talking about topical metformin shows potential benefit for late-stage central centrifugal such as tricial alopecia, which commonly affects women of African descent, which I thought was interesting. The second is yellowing nails. Now, before you get alarmed by this, the study showed us that it's a rare entity, so not to worry. And I found this to be quite bizarre, actually. We see the patient had been receiving metformin 1 1500 milligram daily from the last six months and notice her fingernails gradually thickened and turned yellow. On stopping the metformin, the nails gradually normalized. The patient was treated further with glymperide and insulin glargine. And after three months of discontinuation of metformin, there was a significant improvement in the nails. The third is a metallic taste. And this is because of the presence of metformin in the saliva. Usually medicines make their way into the saliva, especially if they're hydrophilic and metformin is a hydrophilic and positively charged molecule that relies on these transporters to move across cell membranes, especially oct proteins that are transporters. And we got a few of them, oct1 and 2, which are on the liver and the kidneys, but oct3 are on the tongue, conveniently located on the saliva-facing side of the salivary glands and the ACE in our cells. This study highlights this better, called a taste of a pill. However, despite the critical role of OCT3 in salivary gland metformin transport, as revealed by our in vitro and in vivo data, low but significant expression of other metformin transporters was observed in mouse and, and or human salivary glands. These transporters may also influence metformin transport in salivary glands. This is why to help get around this, you could try drinking plenty of water and staying hydrated or by chewing sugarless gum to help with any dry mouth and lessen the metallic taste. But typically, if you are experiencing a metallic taste, it should go away within a few weeks once your body adjusts to it. 
The fourth is a loss of eyebrows and eyelashes. But metformin alone wasn't to blame. And again, this is a rare occurrence. In this study, a 69-year-old man with type 2 diabetes developed sudden loss of eyebrows and eyelashes about four months after the beginning of Janumet, which is a combo of metformin with citagliptin. But keep in mind that Naranjo probability scale documented a possible association that this was the cause and not a definite association. The fifth and by far the most controversial and interesting side effect is anti-aging, most likely coming from three major benefits. One, improving the body's responsiveness to insulin, which as we age, the efficiency in doing so slows down. Two, the antioxidant effects keeping oxidative stress low. And three, improving blood vessel health, which we know has protective effects on the endothelium and the vascular function which essentially, if you do these three things, you help prevent early death by preventing what's called age-related disease. That's the first theory. The second is its effects on this, AMPK activation and autophagy. This is leading researchers down a very exciting path to new implications of what is possible with not just metformin, but a wide variety of different agents that may or may not increase our lifespan. Whatever the outcomes are, could you imagine adding on an extra 10 to 20 years of life? What would that look like for you? Also, this list isn't intended for you to make any changes to your medicine. It's only educational, and you should always speak to your doctor before making any changes. I'm more curious to hear from you guys, though. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. In the meantime, click that subscribe button if you found any value, and I'll see you on the next one.